Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Roddins, and I hate making some of these videos because it's bad news. And basically, new research shows that 90% of us, there's a 90% chance that you, including myself, are basically, you're, you're killing your testosterone levels and your sex drive and basically your happiness every night with this one bedtime habit. Simply say that you're losing muscle and gaining fat at the same time. And obviously, this all can lead to erectile problems if that's something you care about you're unknowingly accelerating the aging process, which I've unfortunately have been doing on and off for years, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do with sleep, right? Sleep is supposed to help recover, not accelerate the process of aging. Now, sadly, again, this mistake is something I've been doing on and off since 1995. Now, I've made a lot of changes. I've made a lot of improvements. And I've uh, basically done three simple, easy ways to fix this problem. Now, of course, you're thinking, all right, get to it. What's the problem? The problem is that late night screen use, basically when you're scrolling on your phone or watching TV in bed or basically working late on your laptop before sleep. All right. Now, these days, the phone is a primary problem. And you might say, OK, forget it. I already know this. I don't care. But listen, trust me, it's a bigger problem than you think. You know, they say 90 percent of Americans are using some kind of um, electronic device in bed within the hour before bed, major problem. And it says 98% of university students and people in their 20s are on some kind of device right before, during sleep, before bed, all right? And then they put it right there. That's almost everyone. Now, simply say that that bright blue light from these devices is suppressing your sleep hormone, melatonin, about to 80%. Now, you might think, all right, what is the big deal? You already know melatonin is a sleep hormone. But this negative suppression, all right, causes a bunch of negative hormonal changes. The first one is that as your melatonin drops, the opposite thing happens. It increases your stress hormone cortisol. Now, how is it supposed to be? Your cortisol, your stress hormone is supposed to be low at night and melatonin is supposed to be high at night so you can relax and go to sleep. But we're not doing that because we're on the phone and we're getting like stimulated all the time. Whether you're scrolling or you're doing something with AI or you're watching some of the entertainment, you're being stimulated. So your body can't relax to lower the adrenaline, the cortisol, so melatonin can go up. So, you know, sometimes your mind is racing and you can't fall asleep even though you're tired or sometimes your brain is tired, but like physically you just can't seem, can't seem to relax to fall asleep. That all has to do with higher cortisol and adrenaline and, and lower melatonin levels. And the other thing is as cortisol levels go up, testosterone levels come down. Now, I'd ask people, hey, what do you think the opposite of testosterone is? And people will say it's, it's estrogen. Testosterone is a male hormone, estrogen is a female hormone, but it's not. The opposite hormone to testosterone is cortisol. In fact, as cortisol levels go up, testosterone levels come down. Your body's under stress, so it doesn't want you to, quote unquote, build muscle or to get horny and have sex during time to stress. So it suppresses testosterone as stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline go up so you can take care of what needs to do so you can survive. And once everything is good and you're relaxed, testosterone goes up and now you can quote unquote go and have sex and have babies. But simply stated, all this bright blue light at night is, is preventing you from being a man. You don't realize it. And it happens. I see guys all the time, including myself. I, 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 I'll say, Hey, I'll, you know, I'll do something late at night. I won't be on the phone. I'll do this. And something next thing you know, an hour has gone by and I haven't been able to relax. Anyhow, I'll get right to the point. Let's talk about three simple ways for you to fix a solution. Obviously, the first thing I tell you is just cut out all devices an hour before bed. Now, I know you're not going to do that. If you can, do it. But there's other ways to get around this. First of all, remember, it's a bright blue light that's a problem. You can take um, the, those blue blocking glasses, which is what I wear, about an hour or two before bed. So that breaks out the blue light. Remember, blue light is supposed to be during the day. It's from the sun. And at night, it's supposed to be orange. Why? For millions of years or hundreds of thousands of years. At night, we had no light. And then we had fire. The orange from the fire helped us relax. But now there's no orange. It's all a bunch of blue light all day long, including at night. And it's bright. And your brain's like, it's go time. It's daytime. And it's not. It's supposed to be nighttime. So... Break out the blue blocking glasses, all right? 
And then the other thing I tell people is to start dimming everything at least an hour or two before bed. I have dimmers all throughout the house. I start to dim everything. I wear my blue blocker glasses. I know it gets lame. Chicks don't like it, but what do I care? Um, the other thing is you put dimmers. You can also do the blue blocking on your devices, whether it's on your phone or your laptop, you know, your computer, you can do that. Most devices have that nighttime. The other thing is you can dim. This is super important. The 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 blue light from devices is bad, but I think the brightness is even worse because when it's really bright, your brain is like, hey, what's going on, man? You know, it's like, boom, in the middle of the night. Just imagine the middle of the night, someone just flashes or turns on all the lights. You're going to be like, what? You're going to wake up and your adrenaline's going to go up. Well, that's what's happening all night long when all that light is out. So you want to start dimming everything, all right? You can have dimmers. There's this thing called um, Pango Bright. Dot com. I'll put the links below this. It's just a simple device or, you know, app or software you just download on your computer or phone or whatever, and you can dim it. It's all free. I've been using it for years and you can break the dimming or the brightness from like hundred down to 80 to 70 and all this stuff. I put it like 30%. So it's really light and my eyes get heavy. Um, you can read a book, but most of you won't do that. Um, the other thing you want to do is obviously keep your room, your bedroom, super dark you know, uh, blackout curtains, no lights from outside, you know, try to not have any lights from the, from your clock and all that stuff. Um, keep the room cool as you guys already know, and it's very hard to fall asleep when it's warm outside. So that's why that's in your bedroom. That's why it's so much harder to fall asleep at night when, in the summer. In fact, I remember when I was living at home, when I was a kid, my dad would never turn on the air conditioning because he was cheap. It'd be so damn hot, man. And the, and the, during the day is like a hundred degrees and at night, I mean, anyhow, I remember I couldn't sleep because I'd be sweating my ass off, even though I had a fan. So you can't, it's not easy to sleep when it's warm. In addition to all that, I have eye shades on at, before sleep. I have earplugs in my ear and um, I have a, a sound machine, right? So to drown out any potential music or sound or noises and all that kind of stuff. I have ADD and I, I'm very sensitive to everything. I can hear, smell, everything. So I'm trying to prevent anything that's going to disrupt my sleep, including people. Um, now, the other thing you want to do is, if you can do all that, great. And the other thing I like to do is also just change how my body's chemistry is. So I tell it to relax. How do I do it? I take magnesium. Um, you guys have already heard, but I take a lot. I take magnesium glycinate. The glycinate is an amino acid. I also take that as well. Helps you relax. I take 800 milligrams of magnesium glycinate um, with the last meal, and I don't eat about two hours before bed. I used to sleep. I used to go eat right before bed and uh, when I was younger, and I could fall asleep, no problem. But now that I'm an old man, uh, man, I can't eat anything late at night because I can tell my heart rate goes up. All right. And I can tell it's, you know, whatever it's digesting or the insulin or blood pressure or whatever it is, digesting food takes time and effort when you should be relaxing and getting ready for bed. So don't eat a couple hours before bed. I have my magnesium then. And uh, the other thing is I take things to help reduce my cortisol levels. You know, there's things like ashwagandha and all these things. Um, I take a product called um, cortisol and stress relief totally lowers cortisol levels at night. So as cortisol levels go up, melatonin goes up, which is what we want. Cortisol down, melatonin up. The other thing I also take is um, different sleeping things that improve my GABA, um, serotonin, melatonin, and things like that at night to help it. I take a product called Deep Sleep Formula. I put all the links to both of these products below and the magnesium. I'll do that. All this stuff helps lower cortisol levels and improves GABA and everything for you to help fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. The blue light's bad. The brightness is bad. Do all the things you can do to improve how you sleep because honestly, I know people are talking about sleep all the time and all the little things you can do. Most of these people, most people don't realize how important blocking bright blue light is. The brightness is a factor. Do all the things that I mentioned. Let me know what it works for you, how it works for you, what you do to relax at night. I put all the links below in the description area. Let me know your questions, comments. Thanks. Have a great day.